So now that we understand this p-value, we know p-value can be anywhere between zero and one because of the probability, right? It can be 0 0.01. We said 0 0.01 means touching the trackpad how many times? One out of hundred, right? So 0 0.1 means what? P-value 0 0.1 means ten out of hundred. That null hypothesis is true. That null hypothesis is true. If it is become low, what we will do? Only 10 out of times that the null hypothesis is true. Suppose if it is 0 0.3, 30 out of 100 times null hypothesis is true. And 0 0.05 means only 5 out of 100 times null hypothesis is true. So for the null hypothesis to be true, which number will you select first? 30 out of 100. Because you want to have more evidence, right? That there is no difference. If p-value is high, then null is the guy. If p-value is low, the null must go. So this guy is low. Suppose if p-value is 0 0.01, it is very low. The null must go. So null must go means, what is the statement we make? Reject the null. Okay, so we have fertilizer A and B coming back to this example. And the plants are treated with fertilizer A and fertilizer B and allowed to grow. Now, you see that in which fertilizer the plants have grown taller. Which fertilizer is good? So B is good. So we see this, this is what it is. But you can see that here, three plants have grown big and one is almost same as this. You understood this? And amongst three also, one is low. Okay, it can happen, right? So if you put this fertilizer A, B, you compare the mean. So test result is 0 0.03. So what should you do? If p-value is low, the null must go. So only 3 out of 100 times the null hypothesis will be true. Now, should we consider this p-value as significant difference? That is the question we ask. Because why do you choose 0 0.05? Why can't it be 0 0.01? Why can't it be 0.1? So it is left to you to choose, but most commonly used is 0 0.05. That's all we can say. But in aerospace industry, they are much stricter and they use 0 0.01 also aerospace and healthcare industries. Okay. So it is up to you to decide the level of significance before starting the experiment. But while during the experiment, you should not change. Okay. In between, you say, okay, now I'll consider p value this and then do on another experiment. No. You should go through. So, generally, 0 0.05 is the level of significance. If p value is low, the null must go, which means you must reject the null hypothesis. So, fertilizer A and B are significantly different. Okay, that's what we conclude. So the probability for the null hypothesis true is only 3 out of 10 times. So you decide the level of significance before starting the experiment. So you can also decide 0 0.01 if you want. So if p-value is 0 0.3, if, if the level of significance is uh, high, if you take very low, then you can tend to accept it also no problem so no significant difference it all depends upon because it's 0 0.03 if you take p value as 0 0.05 you'll reject it or if you take the p value of 0 0.01 you'll fail to reject it so summary is i decide the level of significance starting at the experiment and then i choose and then i'll do the experiments and do the statistical test for p value so p value greater than level of significance Null hypothesis, you fail to reject the null hypothesis. I'm using the word accepted here because, you know, many people want to relate it first. Okay. And if it is less than level of significance, we should reject the null hypothesis.